What's happening everybody and welcome to recipe 19. Whew, what a haul this has been. So we are blessed with a, another great day out here on the wild coast so you certainly don't have to ask me twice to light a fire and that's exactly what we've done in the background. I've decided I might let the dogs loose a little bit this afternoon since I've been working so hard while the rest of you have been relaxing and chilling. So uh, that's what we got going. And we're gonna cook up some Greek inspired little dishes on the fire for you today. Now, just in case you were wondering what that is, this is what we use down here on the wild coast called a cheese stick. It is attached to a little gas bottle down there. You know, gas, flames, not dangerous at all. I mean, we like to live on the edge down here, but it certainly does help and replaces blitz and fire lighters when you're dealing with wet wood. So, Josh one, wet wood zero. Okay, so today we're gonna bra some chicken and we're gonna use some aubergine in the coals. But we're not gonna bra this any old way. We're gonna take a Greek inspired method that you would normally use with kind of pork neck on skewers like souvla, and we're gonna marinate some chicken pieces the same way and do them on the fire. Now, when we were making sure we had enough ingredients to last us through this uh, lockdown period, uh, we didn't panic buy, we just made sure we had enough, all right. We went and didn't buy the most expensive chicken we could find. We went and bought the nice, thrifty, frozen chicken packs. And I noticed on the label this morning that it says it has 85% chicken in it. So when you're looking at a piece of chicken and you know that at least 85% of it is chicken, I mean, those are good odds. Okay, so what I have noticed in these budget chicken packs is there's generally like a lot of extra sort of skin on there that you don't kind of need. Now, I'm just gonna trim that off and uh, you are welcome to hold on to that. I unfortunately should not be eating chicken skin due to some high cholesterol. It's in the jeans, baby. But throw some salt, pepper, chicken spice, whatever. Crisp it up on the grid, chop it into little pieces, add it to your salad. Oh, chicken skin's just good. Okay, and what I really want is I want the marinade to kind of penetrate inside the meat. So I'm going to give it some nice incisions down to where I can feel bone. Be careful not to hack your own finger off. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Fan it open like that. I'm going to do that on all the pieces and then we'll get to the marinade. Okay, so there's our chicken pieces in our little marinating dish. You'll notice that the color of the board has changed. We've got a yellow board for chicken and a red board for red meat. It's just always a good idea to kind of have a, a different board for your chicken though, that's for sure. Okay, so just rolling on that lemon creates the juice. Give it a cut and then just squeeze all that nice little trick. Cup your hands over the front of the lemon like that and it'll stop the seeds and the pips going in. You cannot have enough lemon on this. What I've got in here is I've got some oregano and we're gonna be very, very generous on the oregano. Okay, then I've got some garlic salt. Okay, so chicken's busy marinating and now Really, really, really fun marinating onto the baba ganoush. So we're not going to do a traditional baba ganoush recipe uh, where, you know, there's tahini and that sort of stuff because you would have seen with our hummus recipe that we had on day three is we don't have tahini in the house and this is all about using ingredients that we've got here and you can see by the color that aubergine is not looking its healthiest so this will roast just fine. I'm going to wrap it in tin foil and again Shiny side in, shiny side out. It really doesn't make any difference whatsoever, unless of course you're making a tin foil hat to keep the radiation out because you're a flat earther. In which case, it's extremely important to keep the shiny side out to reflect the microwaves. Okay, so that's us for now. Eggplant's gonna go straight into the coals. The chicken's busy marinating. It's time for me to go and hang out outside by the fire and I'm going to enjoy a little lockdown libation, so cheers. Oh, 
and I'd better be drinking this out of my left hand as a friend of mine, Cornet, managed to point out to me on day two. He'll call Buffalo if he has to. just chilling out here but look at how that aubergine came out now I haven't done anything to it all I did was wrap it in tin foil put it in the coals and every now and again I just turned that little parcel this skin has split by itself look how soft that skin gets but that is what you want check how I can just spoon it out it's creamy it's Unbelievable. So it's also going to have a nice little smoky taste. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer that into a bowl, put some seasoning and olive oil and lemon juice and garlic salt and all that stuff with it, mix it all together, and you've got a really, really rad dip that goes with just about anything, and it's going to go great with this chicken. Right, so as you would have seen, all I did was I just mixed everything together now and it's very, very silky. There's quite a bit of moisture in there. So we've got some roast garlic that's still busy in the oven. Now what you could do is you could take that if you had a stick blender at home or a food processor or something like that, bang it in there, blitz it up and you're going to get this silky, silky smooth kind of like a little dip but what an accompaniment I mean I don't really care I'll just eat it straight like that it's just really it's just good so we're really stoked with the way that came out here we've just added a bit more veg to ours with a nice rock and tomato salad some oven roasted cauliflower you can't go wrong with that and of course our coal roasted slick smooth aubergine dip We've got some nice tzatziki on the side to go with this Greek inspired chicken, but the smell of that garlic salt and oregano and olive oil and lemon juice, I mean, it's just unbelievably good. So really, really happy that came out the way it did. I know it was a super simple one today on the bra, but essentially we've taken a chicken that claimed to be 85% chicken and we've made it 100%. And on that note, buffalo. Yeah.